Israel's savage destruction of Gaza's healthcare system is exactly what it looks like. Israel has ended its assault on the Al Shifa hospital in Gaza because there is nothing left to assault. The facility, the largest medical complex in Gaza where hundreds of civilians had been sheltering, is now an empty, unusable, burnt out husk. Witnesses report hundreds of corpses in and around the complex with video footage showing human body parts protruding from the earth and bodies with zip ties on their wrists. Israel is currently doing its usual song and dance where it claims the hospital was a Hamas headquarters and everyone it killed there was a terrorist, but at this point the only people buying that shtick are the ones who desperately need to. This was a massacre of profound savagery. It's as plain as day to anyone who isn't deeply invested in pretending otherwise. Israel, which at the beginning of the Gaza onslaught had adamantly denied that it would ever attack a hospital, has since launched hundreds of documented attacks on Gaza's healthcare services and has destroyed most of its healthcare system. Just today, the Director General of the World Health Organization announced that an Israeli airstrike on Gaza's Al Aqsa Hospital compound killed four people and injured 17. Oxford University professor Nick Maynard who spent time working at Al-Aqsa Hospital earlier this year, recently accused the IDF of systematically targeting healthcare facilities, healthcare personnel, and really dismantling the whole healthcare system in Gaza. It's not just about targeting the buildings, it's about systematically destroying the infrastructure of the hospitals, said Maynard. Destroying the oxygen tanks at the Al-Shifa Hospital, deliberately destroying the CT scanners, and making it much more difficult to rebuild that infrastructure. If it was just targeting Hamas militants, why are they deliberately destroying the infrastructure of these institutions? Why indeed? If the objective is to target Hamas, why trash the hospital's medical equipment? If the objective is to target Hamas, why destroy the whole complex and make it unusable as a healthcare facility? Logically, we can only conclude that it isn't about targeting Hamas at all. It's about destroying Gaza's healthcare infrastructure. Why would Israel want to destroy Gaza's healthcare infrastructure? The answer to that question has been clear for months. To make the land uninhabitable for the Palestinians. The same reason they're deliberately starving Gazans, destroying their homes, continually moving them from place to place, and bombing every safe zone they create. This is naturally giving rise to a situation in which the inhabitants of Gaza will either die or flee to some other country, which just so happens to be exactly what Israel wants them to do. It's so obvious what's happening here. Painfully obvious. Poke you in the eyeballs obvious. But we're still subjected to a Western political media class who keep forcefully telling us that this blatant ethnic cleansing campaign is not what it looks like telling us that all this starvation and destruction and elimination of healthcare services and the way it directly places pressure on the Palestinians to leave their homeland is just a series of coincidences arising from Israel's war of defense. That only by pure happenstance does it look exactly the same as the advancement of an agenda that Israelis have sought to advance for generations. Well, I personally am through with having my intelligence insulted. And I hope you are too. The sky is blue, a spade's a spade, the emperor has no clothes, and Israel is conducting a very obvious ethnic cleansing campaign in Gaza.